my channel. I hope you are well. I am Amesy of Amesy's Antics and I have another beauty DIY for you today. Now this is in the form of Jo Malone inspired bath salts. I have previously made Jo Malone inspired bath bombs which I will link below and this follows a similar process of using a fragrance oil of a fragrance that Jo Malone uses in their many products. So today's fragrance is Pear and Freesia and you're adding it to your bath salts to give your bath a lovely luxurious and pampering feel to it. Now bath salts have a added benefit apparently to your bath with helping um, with achy muscles and pains as well as certain skin conditions um, but I am by no means a health expert so take this with a pinch of salt. I don't know if there's a pun there somewhere in there um, but yes you make this at your own discretion and if you do have any allergies um, then please be mindful of the different ingredients that are used in this recipe. With that said if this sounds like something you are interested in making then let's get crafting. To make these bath salts you are going to need half a cup of Epsom salts, a quarter cup of dead sea salt, a quarter cup of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda and 2.4 millilitres of your pear and freesia fragrance oil. You will also need two mixing bowls, the measuring cups to measure out your ingredients, a container for your ready made bath salts and some soap colourant. You want to add in your half cup of Epsom salts, the quarter cup of sea salt and the quarter cup of bicarbonate of soda into one of your mixing bowls. Then add in the 2.4 millilitres of the pear and freesia fragrance oil. This is 1% of the total weightage of the bath salts which makes it safe for use on your skin and you don't want to go above 1% when adding the fragrance oil. Mix it together thoroughly and so that it is all combined. You want your fragrance oil to be evenly spread across the bath salts. Then grab your other mixing bowl and split the bath salts in half or as much as in half as you can. This is because we are going to add colourant to one half to make two tone bath salts. Grab your chosen soap colourant, here I am using a green colour as I thought that would represent the pear side of the fragrance oil and I'm just adding a few drops to one of the bowls and mixing together to combine. You can make this as light or dark in colour as you prefer, just add a few more of the soap colourant to get a darker colour. You may also notice that some of the Epsom salts take on a bit more of the colourant than the other salts in this mix. Once you are happy with your shade of bath salts it is time to add them to your chosen container. I opted to layer these going between the white salts and the green salts to make a pretty pattern. It can get a little messy and it might be beneficial to use a funnel but unfortunately I did not have one to hand at this time. Pop a label on your filled up container of bath salts and then you have your very own Jo Malone inspired bath salts. So there you have how to make Jo Malone inspired bath salts, really easy to make, only have a few ingredients and smell amazing, that add a perfect bit of luxury and pampering to your bath as well as making the perfect handmade gift for loved ones. This would be perfect if you are deciding on what gifts to make for Christmas, add this to your list because I can guarantee they will go down a storm with whoever you give them to. I would love to receive a gift like this. I love handmade gifts. There's just something about you making something for somebody else. I think it can sort of be a little bit of a gift to yourself because 
you can see I don't know anyway I am waffling on if you enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep posted on all of my new videos coming up be them travel related or crafting related until next time bye Smile.